Good morning, Quadcopter101 here, and today I have a review of the GP, to GP Toys AVX F2C Quadcopter. Now, as you can see here, it appears to be just another um, clone of the SEMA X5C, but uh, you'd be wrong there, and that has two special features that the X5C does not have. And what that is, is it has headless mode, first of all, and it has what, what I call an autopilot. It's called cruise control. And what that does is it supposedly remembers uh, the inputs on from the transmitter for 40 seconds. And you can repeat what you did by just pressing this button right here. And it will repeat the flight. And I find that very interesting. And I'd like to try that out today. Um, other features it has, it has a 2 megapixel camera. Unfortunately, the one that I got seems to be defective. Um, I can't get it to record for some reason. But... That's not what I was interested in at all in this quadcopter. I don't care about the camera. Um, uh, future videos, maybe I will get a replacement camera for this. But what I care about is I want, want to demonstrate the headless mode of this quadcopter, uh, the cruise control ability of this quadcopter, and also its flyability. Uh, let's look at the transmitter real quick on this. Uh, we have uh, flips, which is activated by that button. We have we can control the modes or the rates of the quadcopter by pressing this button here. We can turn the lights on and off here, and we activate the camera if it was working by pressing this button here quick for a photo and holding it down for two seconds to take a video. And again, this button here is for entering headless mode, and I'm curious whether it remembers the heading of uh, the initial heading. If it does, you can use that as a return home. We'll find that out here shortly. And this button here is the cruise control. So let's go into the flight. And first off, we're going to start what, by evaluating the headless mode of this quadcopter. Okay, this quadcopter does not have an on-off switch. Uh, what it does have, to activate the quadcopter, you have to uh, plug it in the batteries. Now, just in case this does remember the heading, I am going to point it off in the direction of that mountains there. And hopefully that will be our headless mode heading, but we'll find out here shortly. Okay, increasing rate. <laughs> Apparently, all you need to do to bind this quadcopter, okay, I'm an expert here, is um, turn on the transmitter. <laughs> I did not realize that. You don't need to do the up-down thing. Okay, let's evaluate the flyability first. Let's bring it in. This is a high rate. Oh, it's got four high rate. That's four beeps. Okay, I guess that's super high rate. Okay, beginner is one beep. Intermediate, intermediate two is three beeps. And expert. We're going to fly an expert today because there's a slight breeze coming from that direction. Okay, now to evaluate headless mode, I am going to turn the quadcopter and point it to the, my right here. Press the headless mode button. It still remembers that heading as headless mode, which is good. Why is that good? Because you can use this as a return to home feature. Okay, if it remembers the headless mode heading, I'm turning the headless mode off again. I will demonstrate that. We're going to set it off into the uh, forward right of the headless mode bearing. And I'll show you how you, to use this as a return to home. Okay, I don't know how, I don't know what my uh, orientation is. All I got to do is press headless mode button and point my uh, transmitter in the direction of the headless mode bearing. And then push the stick in the opposite direction and it'll bring it right back. Isn't that cool? Let's come out of headless mode. This time, let's fly off to the lower or to the forward left quadrant from my uh, headless mode bearing. I'm pointing my transmitter in the direction of the headless mode bearing. I've lost orientation of the quadcopter. In fact, I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to rotate it as it comes back. I'm activating headless mode, and I'm pointing the stick in the opposite direction from where it's at. And look at that; it brings it right back. So, you can use, this remembers the headless mode headings, which means you can use it as a return to home feature. I have another video that demonstrates that for the, um, very well actually, for the uh, uh, Tarantula X6 quadcopter. So that's cool. Let's try this other feature here, which I'm really interested in. Uh, remembering the last 60 seconds, or last 40 seconds of flight. Um, let's land this first of all. I want to turn it off and rebind it. And also, one other thing I want to check before we do this is what happens if I lose transmission of the transmitter, if I fly out of transmitter range. 
Okay, I gotta replug that quadcopter back in again. Hold on. Okay, I replugged the battery back in. I'm gonna rebind the quadcopter. Okay, it's bound, and it remembers that is the headless mode heading. Um, let's go for a flight and see <laughs> see if it actually remembers this. We're just gonna fly over here, off in that direction there. There's a flip button. Supposedly it remembers even the advanced things like flip. We're gonna go to heading, do a flip, do another flip, and then we're gonna land the quadcopter. Let's see if it does that. Okay, press the cruise control. <laughs> I guess you gotta control the uh, throttle. It remembers everything except the coming out of it. So, in effect, you have to control the throttle, but it remembers all the other uh, uh, things that it can do. I wanted to do one more quick thing. I haven't checked the what happens when you lose reception on this quadcopter before I do any more of this, because this could be scary <laughs> using this cruise control. Okay, I'm giving it a little slow throttle and then turning off the transmitter. 1001, 1002, 1003. Okay, good. It shuts off. I just wanted to verify that it does that. Okay, rebinding the quadcopter, you have to unplug it. And replug it back in. So it automatically does shut off. That's what I wanted to verify. Okay, pointing it back in that direction. Let's do that again, doing the cruise control. Okay, so you adjust the throttle. I'm going to high. Let's see if it will do a figure eight. And a flip. Another flip. And then going forward, coming back, and landing. Okay, now I'm going to see if it remembers that. I adjust the throttle. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of scary. <laughs> let's try. Let's try that again. It remembers the last 40 seconds. So let's fly. Starting. Let's move it forward of us our position and do that. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, 1011, 1012, 1013, 1014, 1015, 16, 1017, 1018, 1020, 1021, 1023, 1024, 1025, 34, 35, 36. Okay, I'm going to press the cruise control button now. Is that what I was doing? <laughs> Apparently. It remembers. It's doing the circles in the sky. Let's see if it does the flip. That's what I want to see. Well, look, I'm not really doing this. It's doing it itself. <laughs> we'll do the flip. Give a little throttle. We'll do the flip. That's what I want to see. It's just, it is cool. It just flies around in the sky. Okay, so that was it. <laughs> Let me go to high. And my batteries are going dead. There we go. So that was my first flight with the GP Toys AVX F2C. Uh, the first quadcopter in the toy class that I've seen that has an autopilot. Uh, it does kind of work. I'm going to have to uh, do some more experimenting with that to see what it, else it can do. But And also the headless boat on this works very well as a return to home. It's, it does remember the uh, heading from the 
that it was initially bound at. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get this camera to work in future videos. For, for some reason it just keeps flashing a red light when I plug it in. Uh, I don't know if it's my camera card or if it's the camera itself. It could be just the camera card, but we'll find out in future videos. But again, AVX, GP Toys, F2C, hope you enjoyed the flight. Quadcopter 101 signing out.